she's missed that, she slid to the right. Sometimes the players do take that extra bit of time when they yeah. think it's an important shot, but I think there's a point when you start taking too much time. And I agree. I agree. I, you can put too much pressure on yeah. yourself. I think that uh, whatever your routine is, um, it's more important to stick to that routine on the, the big shots than, than any other shot, really, because you've got more chance of making. That's a great replay of... Uh, Ned not making a hoop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he just hit uh, too hard into the, into you can the see right the, leg. Yeah, you can see the spin on the ball, but there's yeah. not much New Zealand can do, as you can see by yeah. Felix with his uh, hands on his hips there. Yeah. Is, um, the only issue with it not being run is that Sonia now gets the chance to bring her ball back um, into an a, a, a non-offside yeah. position. So, so she can sort of place it anywhere in the onside that she wants. I mean, Edward's not going to... Australia will get the, um, the hoop. Uh, I don't think New Zealand can win it from here, but um, but they can now think about where will they position their two balls yeah. to attack hoop 13. Yeah, because it's definitely going to a tie break hoop. There's not yeah. much they can do about that. Yeah. So whether Felix uh, tries to sneak off the red, blue sneaking off red up to the hoop 13, yeah. or whether he does something else. Um, and the and the thing is, he's got to be careful about that because again, Edward can just deem his shot, and uh, and then he'll have to have to come back. Yeah. So he's going to do it. He's going to slide off the red. Nope. He's caught it in the middle. So. Yeah. so he was really trying to make the blue come off the left side of red and go up to the 13th hoop. And then you hope that, uh, that Edward and Wendy don't think about that and just run the, run the hoop. But I think at this level they'd probably just deem their shot and force you to come back. So on this occasion, I mean, once uh, Edward runs the hoop, uh, I mean, Felix is going to be first up there. Yeah, so we did see a lot of players struggle to get in front of hoop 13 yesterday from from those angles because it yeah. does kick right to left and it does take off once you get yeah. past the hoop. It takes off downhill. Although Felix um, just played a beautiful shot yesterday to 13 where he went around the hoop and used yeah, the roll. Used and the roll and, and yeah. putted it well, yeah. So yeah, that was a beautiful shot. And, um, but... All these guys are more than happy to have seven yard hoop shots. So. Yeah, yeah. So this is always interesting to watch the, the tactics. Um, uh, see what people do to set up for the 13. Pete Landreve is an interesting person to watch set up for hoop 13. Chris here has also got some good strategies on approaching hoop 13. Um, so they work about 5% of the time. <laughs> so, so. But at least you've got them. I mean, that's uh, it's important. Wow. It's important to have some idea of what you want to do and different ways to, especially if you're second, how do you disrupt your opponent from uh, from making it a certainty? Because if you're second to the hoop, your opponent, if they land one three feet out directly in front, then it's pretty difficult to lose from there. So, uh, so people like yourself and, and uh, Pete, who do have some, some different plays, it's uh, a big advantage, I think. Mm. To so with uh, Felix where he is, although Australia probably would have liked to fiddle for a bit longer and yep. try and get an advantage, uh, Felix probably could have got net out. So just making the hoop, making it six all, and now we go to a tie break. And yep. you can see from his lineup, I think he's doing exactly what he did yesterday. Yep. Just Around as he right called it, he's, going, he's using the, the right to left. To and it didn't and turn, he's you can see. He's got his hands out. Yeah. He goes, it's not turning. It's, it's turned not yesterday. turning like <laughs> yesterday. He has to be closer to the The hoop. ball's gone straight, so yeah. he's done... Exactly what was a yeah. perfect shot yesterday, yeah. and today, for whatever reason... Uh, well, I think yesterday he was closer to the hoop. He, he passed the hoop closer to the right-hand side. He's put that one much wider, and therefore it's, uh, it hasn't got into the little uh, the little roll area. He must, uh, he must have got the Aussies out there on the roller last night, yeah. changing, changing <laughs> all the rolls <laughs> so yeah. this morning. So yeah. That's yeah, a good chance to... Yeah, it's that when there's rolls, sometimes you can get outside of them. It's the same when you're on putting greens. You know, you can get outside the roll area, and uh, yeah, there is a bit of a channel there. But yeah, he's, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, and also you can hit a little hard too. Yeah. So sometimes you hit just hard enough that it that it takes itself out of the out of the channel. I thought yesterday you just hit a perfect weight, which just brought it round beautifully. So blue is a hoop runner, despite not getting the little right to left that he was hoping for to straighten up. He still yep. is a runner uh, from where he is. And I think he'll probably take a shot at it. Mm. 
and that's why Wendy's gone deep, just so Felix can't clear. Uh, and Force him to take the shot. Yeah, and Wendy's uh, very happy with a, a seven-yard hoop shot, but I think Black's actually got the block. Yeah, it could so be. Yeah. It looks pretty close. I'd, it might be able to slide past, but it, it'll be a distraction. That's a, the so big issue. Whether Ned's uh, Ned's going to try and slide past as well and get, get in Blue's line. Probably going a little bit too close to Blue. Oh, he's, uh, now he's caught the change. He's yeah, starting past. to turn now. So this leaves uh, Felix with a hoop shot to win game one. And he's... Yesterday he made a couple of very nice ones at this sort of angle and length. And Beautiful. he's done that perfectly. And you can see oh. he didn't change anything on his preparation or the amount of time he took over that. See, Beautiful uh, shot. Phil Drew, the New Zealand manager, they're very, very <laughs> animated on the sideline. He's... Yeah. Uh, well, he has every right to be, too, because that was yeah. a beautiful shot to win the game. That's the quickest I've seen him jump up for a while. <laughs> that's uh, his exercise he's, he's, for the he's, week. He's stalking <laughs> around. No, that was a, that was a, well, they know that's a very important win, yeah, for, it is. win for New Zealand. You know, we're, yeah. all, we're all square. It's a brand new day. It's, uh, you know, the test matches that we've won mean nothing now. It's all, all about today. That's our first game to New Zealand in the clubhouse. So the games are meant to be seamless in these matches, but most of the players have all been taking a few minutes, um, a few tactical toilet breaks and things like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm not sure that there's any tactics in oh, no, of it. No, but it, it just, uh, yeah. I think they're all, it doesn't really matter. We're, we're here all day. Yeah. Um, let's and take it a is a long day, and mm. people do need to refuel and look after their bodies, you know. It's, um, you know, as I said, yesterday was 10, 10 hours non-stop play and uh, and so when you get an opportunity to go and have a drink and you know, yeah. some carbs it's, it's uh, pretty important to do that so that gives so us a good chance to do a round, round the grounds, round the grounds so yeah. all the other games are still in there so uh, we'll start up in court four so we've got Fleur and Greg versus uh, Ellie and Duncan so they were uh, rapidly moving around at the start of the game but now they're bogged down at hoop seven uh, it looks like New Zealand do have a lot of control there it looks like they're I'd like to say, well, I don't think they've removed a clip, but if it's not 14 New Zealand, it's 5 1 New Zealand. It's, uh, they're in a bit of strife, but they're fighting back. And uh, Greg Jaws uh, hoop 7 to try and get a couple and maybe run it back. So is that uh, now 4 3 to New Zealand on court 3? Um, so court three is the Pete Landry, Judy Wembridge versus uh, George Coulter and uh, has he got Dallas? No, it's uh, four three to Australia on court three. Pete Landry and uh, Judy are four three up against George and Dallas. Yeah, so. Uh, so but George has played a beautiful yeah. ball down to the next hoop. So. So they were four two. So George has just run hoop seven to make it four three. And, and Pete's missed. He's perfectly in front of hoop eight, so great opportunity there for them to tie it back up four all on court three. So New Zealand following team instructions on court three today with the order losing the toss there. They've got George playing um, before Pete. So hoping to try and get an advantage of keeping Pete on the boundary. So they're back to court four. Greg's uh, managed to score with his jaws ball at seven. So I'm thinking that's 4-3 uh, New Zealand over there. So once again, like all week, the game's very even across the board. So back to court one with the Australian and Kiwi number ones. It's uh, four all, but Alison Sharp's lining up at hoop nine. So Felix is so doing his own repairs here on the hoops. <laughs> and uh, just bounces back a little bit. Uh, does leave Edmund with a jump. 
So we're away here. Edwards uh, played first, so he's put the yellow across. Very nice position. Yeah, it's a great spot. It's good. Puts pressure on. So they'll have to shoot now. At least one of them will shoot. Well, I think. Uh, well, Felix will I shoot. I think Felix is shooting first yep. up. He's not going to. He's not going to position. Just missed to the left. So you notice when Felix clears, he's pretty much always at the same pace. He doesn't vary much at all, so that's what helps him to stay consistent. Nice shot. So uh, Edmund manages to jump uh, Allison's ball and take the lead for New Zealand. So they're five four up on court one of the battle of the number ones. So Sonia now has to shoot at Edward because he's uh, probably two yards out directly, almost directly in front, so um, it's a good opportunity to turn one hoop into two by uh, running this hoop, running hoop one right down to hoop two. So it's really important for them to not allow Australia to get off to a strong start. And she's very deliberate. Yeah, it's been very, uh, obviously waiting to it feels right. She just made a couple little adjustments with her feet there because she clearly wasn't um, casting across the top of the ball at the target. She wants that cast to be right down the line at the target. When she feels like she's on, then she'll release. And uh, that is very narrowly missing. That she was, was certainly on target. That miss yes. was so close that it could just be just hitting a the bump. There's just a couple of bits of pain on that. So yeah. it's all that's a miss. You've got to feel pretty heartened that you're yeah. so yeah. close over such a distance yeah. as well. It's sort of you've got to feel that you know, the next one's going to be in the guts. Yeah. So that could have been. It could actually be on target, but hit a, hit anything and just move mm. fractionally off. Who knows? But it's so close that it's a good shot. So you might hear the. Uh, Edward, come on here. Yeah. Great shot. No, he's keeping it all, keeping keeping it all balanced. Yeah. He knows there's a bit of, bit of work to work ahead. Roberts just missed a, what for him would be a pretty standard hoop, you would expect to make. You can see that just in the top left of your camera screen there, Roberts' uh, red ball bounced away from the hoop and on the other court. So Felix is looking for a wire here so that Edward can't hit him away. So that's why he's gone wide to the left. That's He's trying to line that, uh, get that blue ball in a line through the hoop so that Edward can't hit him. I think he's what? pretty close to it. I mean, Edward has asked when did he go in yeah. to close. Well, so he must have it. I think he put it on her closer than that. Yeah. So yeah. I think uh, red ball's going to go. That nasty yeah. side boundary that yeah. hit out of the uh, sand dunes. That looks like it's a good way to do what they've been doing all week. Oh, oh, rolling, rolling, oh rolling, rolling. that's in. Oh, it's just hit yeah. the hoop and. Uh, but that's that's a scoring ball. Yeah, so it is. It's bounced off the leg, so it's actually a scorer. So she started overhitting it a little bit now. Yeah. Yeah. After being in such great position all week so far. And oh, it's uh, in a better position now. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's just blocked it all the way through. So you can see Robert's just backed onto the court, so um, as he should do, Felix just waits. Uh, be polite, let Robert's Robert have his shot. Got a critical shot here to try and tie up the game for Australia on, on, on the other court. He's cleared the black, uh, which is what he was trying to do. So it allows Felix now to come in. So a lot of players uh, take quite long stalks with important shots, so they are going into the other courts quite regularly, so good awareness of what's going on, and it doesn't bother people. Um, and you just wait a couple of minutes and then take your shot. So you should see the red ball coming straight at the cameraman now. It would have, except he was running for cover. Yep. 
that's a nice clearance. So what Felix has done there is clear that ball and posi position himself near hoop three. It's a beautiful shot, really, because um, if Black runs the hoop, if Wendy doesn't clear this and Black runs the hoop, the Blues in a very good attacking position. Can't run the hoop, but it can protect the hoop. Hmm. So because the blue ball came off an opponent, came off the red, it's there legal. So you would have seen a few penalty balls where they've gone more than halfway, but that's because they haven't touched anything. If you come off the opponent, yep. that blue ball can stay. And you would have just seen there on the camera a terrific shot of the relief that Wendy's taken, so it was about uh, 10 inches or so. And she's hit the hoop leg there, so that was very close, uh, probably about a foot off, but yeah, the, I think the, the issue is the players are taking relief for the ball, but they're putting their feet right in the... Yeah, yeah. So proper it's relief, you should be able to get a yourself decent to a stance, decent yeah. stance as well. But yeah, I agree. But the players are... Uh, Conscious of not doing the wrong thing. Yeah, they're, they're trying not to be too cheeky, and I think a few of them are actually... Disadvantaging themselves. Yeah, so they're getting the ball onto the good surface, but they're yeah. still in the really spongy yes. spongy grass themselves, so I haven't seen too many uh, good rokes from that side boundary. Yeah, you're right, actually. And, uh, and, and it actually... Um, your feet can be lower as well because it's on a different surface. Your feet are lower right. than where they would normally be. So yesterday you saw Felix do a massive scuff out of there because his feet were much lower. And uh, and when he was casting and tried to hit through the ball quite firmly, he, he cut a massive channel out of it. Yeah, it's just the... Yeah, it's all the way through court two in front of us on the right-hand side of the screen and court three on the right-hand side of the screen as well. So you can see yeah. on court three, that black ball at the halfway mark, that's right in the... In the, in the dodgy spot. Yeah, and the camera, yeah. when it's on camera, you can't notice, uh, other than the different colour, you can't notice quite how sandy it yeah. is. It's really like a sandpit. Just hasn't uh, recovered as quickly as the rest of the courts from the um, the reseeding. Mm. But the middle of the courts are, are going really well. Yeah. Um, but anyone that's being hit to the boundary is having a, a tough time on the return. So. Yeah, actually, it's a tribute to the work that's been done. They have really come up nicely. Just needed another couple of weeks. Well, the Australian uh, Nationals uh, Open singles are on here in a couple of weeks, and the Australian yeah. doubles, so should be the, nice. uh, cherry ripe for them. Quite a big field of entries this year as well, I believe. Yeah, there is. So. There is. Which is great. It's fantastic. A few names that I haven't seen Nina, before in some of our national mm -hmm. tiles, so that's that's a good thing too. Some uh, some Americans this year, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Condition, so. International field. We'll put the uh, we'll put the freeze on for them. Yeah, yeah, May. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they'll be coming out of fair winter, so they might be an advantage for them, Chris. So up on court three, Pete's about to run the hoop to take a five-four lead. That's great. And he's positioned that right outside the next hoop, so that's a good shot. Yeah, you can see it there on the top of the screen, Pete Landry being the green jumper, and um, just ran the blue through beautifully there. So back to Edward, what's he... Uh, has he just got eyes for the hoop, Terry? Well, or he, he looks to me it? like he's looking at blue, whether, blue. He can get, whether he can hit blue. If he can't hit, I don't think he's got the hoop. Mm. It's whether he can hit blue. And uh, I think Blue's in a scoring position, so he really needs to Blue's hit it. If he can't run the hoop, he's Blue's got to Blue's definitely hit the scoring, um, but I think there's a lot of red in the way of Blue. That's the yeah, that's right. I there's think also a lot of red in the way of the hoop. Yes, so. I think he's blocked from both. No, I think it was. Oh, I don't know. I think that just went to the right side of the hoop, or our right side. Yeah, he missed the hoop. Yeah, he's just completely missed. To the left-hand side from the player, but he was staring at the balls afterwards, so I don't know whether he was actually... Yeah. It's just a big miss, or whether... Um, I'm sure he would tell us later and give yeah. us commentary I, on our yeah. commentary. So <laughs> <laughs> I think he was. Uh, I think he was going for the hoop. Yeah. So the with with the live stream, there are a lot of players at night who are uh, replaying the game. So having it on film and uh, some of the close-ups. Oh, good shot. Yeah, straight through. You can see his toes just pointing at the hoop there, perfectly. Giving Edward direction for his offside ball, and uh, two-one to New Zealand now. Yeah, so a lot of players are commenting about how they're 
staying up past curfew, watching the <laughs> watching the replay of the yeah. live stream. He's obviously yeah. just that's a, a real reflection on Australian Most television the, uh, at the moment, yeah, isn't it? That you'd rather watch replays than uh, the croaky. Most of the uh, most of the young guys complain about their data, but. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I think it's great if you're, um, if you're playing in a competition and something going on with your swing or, yeah. you know, a great opportunity to have a look at it and, and see how it's going. You might pick something up. Even well, tactically, you might pick something up too that you well. weren't aware of, you know, and, and it may be that you, you lost a hoop and you couldn't work out why you lost the hoop on the yeah. day. And, and, of course, you don't have a lot of time to think about it because you've got to focus on the next hoop. Yeah. Um, so you can go back and study the footage and see what it was that the opponent did to sort of turn the hoop over on you or right. whatever it was that caused you to lose. So it's a great facility. It's something that we don't generally have available to us. Uh, a, a lot of the top players... <laughs> of course, do film themselves um, in their practice, film their swings to make sure they get any kinks out of the swing and always yeah. look for improvement, but um, they don't often get a chance to look at and study the tactics uh, when you've either won in, or in not In a won. live game yeah. as well, which yeah. is a bit different from just repetition of the shot. Absolutely. Over and over, I mean, it's good to have that, that footage on the repetition, yeah. but yeah, for yeah. what you do under under pressure when you put yeah. to the torch, that's, uh, that's yeah, a bit different. Exactly. And, um, yeah, you might pick up that actually under pressure your swing does just change just a little bit so so you can do something about it and it could be anything just like where your where your feet are placed some people when they get a little nervous their feet will be further apart or they'll be further back on the ball and they're standing further back from where they would normally all those sort of things happen under pressure yeah, so when the uh, looking back a partner a jump or a clearance a lot of the players make the choice that's right for them, but there's always just that backwards glance just to yep. make sure it's okay. But, um, so generally what we do uh, is the player whose turn it is will, will um, just tell the other person what shot they're intending to play, and if the partner agrees, they'll just nod, and yep. if they don't agree, then there might be a discussion. But generally, whoever is the striker would would have the sort of the first say on what the shot might be as a general rule not all so Sonia centered that really nicely um, does allow Edward to come back in front hopefully wide from Felix though yeah, yeah this so is uh, be difficult to get the wire here because the, uh, the, the roll the of the green will bring it in and see if the camera angle is still open so whether uh, Felix moves Edward or whether he comes into position as well knowing Sonia can take take care of him. It depends on whether he thinks red can hit black. Uh, is red wide from black there? It looks like it may be wide through yellow from the black, so yeah, if that's the case he probably come in. It's um testament to youth too how many of these fellas are wearing shorts for these last four days so it's um, well, uh, pretty amazing to me I can't get enough clothes on in this weather these guys uh, just don't seem to feel cold yeah, it's, it's only, uh, only Edward in the long long pants everyone oh, and, the, and the ladies everyone else is in uh, in the shorts, so maybe he shouldn't have trimmed up the mutton chops so yeah. much last night. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, right. he's lost a bit of a bit of fluff to keep him warm. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe they're trying to psych one another out, and no one wants to give in. Yeah. Put on That's the long pants. That's a good nice shot. Shot, by good uh, shot by Wendy. Wendy just takes away the. Yep. The more dangerous ball, Felix Blue. Um, yep. Sonia's got about a six yarder, so to the hoop. Uh, so she yeah. she hasn't uh, shown us that she's likely to take that. She's more likely and to uh, do a clearance. That's centred really well because you know that could have licked yep. off and knocked yep. Yellow out of position. It's um, yeah. So this has been the pretty much the staple of the New Zealand women's game. So taking the clearance. Oh, she tried to bring that hoop. down in front of the hoop, but it's, she's just uh, taken too much angle. So yeah. she should have hit more centrally into the yellow ball so and then uh, the black would have stayed on the running side of the hoop. So Wendy's coming out, just finding the wide position from black. So uh, EJ can uh, come in close again. 
and of course she has to move out of the way before he strikes the ball or and again the, the roll of the greens to carry that yeah, a little too far the, so uh, there is a slight curve here from uh, our right to left on the on that side of the hoop yeah, as you look at the screen yeah and it goes very fast from hoop four to five as yep. well so yep. that, that short hoop it really is glassy going across it's been that way for quite a few years so if the amount of times you see people over overdo hoop five just short distance and it's extra fast and that's a lovely shot by felix yeah he's in so he knows that sonia can deal with yellow so felix is a uh, second year medical student uh, Not only does he play croaky, but he studies hard as well. I've obviously uh, read the bio, Terry. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I believe he enjoys basketball. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Well, we could have brought him up here with us and yeah. read them out to, to fill right. time, but, uh, you know, guys like us who are so close to everybody, we just know it all. That's it. Uh, there were a few comments about the volume, uh, I think, on the first day, but we are trying to make commentary but not be too loud because here in the Crow's Nest we are directly above the court yeah. and uh, you do notice the players look up every now and again because they can physically see us and they can actually hear us as well yeah. when uh, it gets a bit. So we are trying to be very mindful of that and uh, let the players let the players play. So, so I think uh, they're not concerned. They're, they're all... They're all phasing it out though, so uh, I think they're quite used to it now. It's just part of the furniture. And there's always plenty of movement in the back court with other yeah. spectators and referees and other games. I mean, there's a lot more going on than a than a cameraman freezing on the sidelines. That's yeah, <laughs> that's right. Well, it's uh, different things that put different people off of it as well. Yeah. For me, I'd um, stuff in my periphery, and particularly the. Um, the fluoro shirts that the umpires wear. So if an umpire's in my peripheral vision yeah. and uh, moves suddenly, that'll that'll distract me. Whereas well, if they're just standing in front of me, I basically can wire, uh, so, you know, phase them out. But uh, well, that just comes from your footy days, doesn't it? Yeah, you hating uh, the umpires. Yeah, yeah you what? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. You get off the court. So. Yeah, you're not allowed to like the umpire. <laughs> And of course, as we all know, that's um, always the umpire's fault if ever you lose a game of footy. It's never that's your right. team's fault. Yeah. And uh, on court one, Edmund uh, runs through hoop 12 to uh, win the first game for New Zealand there. So it's uh, two first games for New Zealand in the clubhouse. So it's uh, Australia needs a bit of a comeback here. And uh, it does look like uh, on court four, Fleur and Greg are going to hoop 13. Looking in control up there. So hopefully we... Uh, get that one back and uh, on court three here Pete and Judy oh that's uh, Sonia may have put that black right on the uh, right into the block spot yeah black's black's gone to a poor spot and they just, just, uh, just made sure it's uh, blocked it's just doubling up and he might also be uh, making it difficult for black yeah, going, the to, going to the next yeah. hoop so the uh, other thing is too with a, a class uh, clearance player like Felix he can play the black into the red but if you put the yellow there it's he's difficult for him to get the black to hit the red or yeah. the black into the yellow then into the red just you know makes it so much more difficult and you see felix's reaction there he's uh, caught that glassy bit yeah. and he's gone over the halfway so he tried to just hold it at the halfway point so he's not an offside ball but he's uh overcooked it on that very far section of the lawn so when you'll run this to tie the score and felix will be sent back to a a penalty point so a few claps there from the crowd the, the crowd is uh been quite healthy all week you're not seeing them on camera because everyone's Sitting by the heater inside, inside <laughs> there they're definitely by the heater having yeah. the, um yeah. but great As facilities we should here. be chris yeah, we <laughs> should, yeah. but great facilities here at ken lee you can get uh you know lots of people inside and um yeah great atmosphere um the bar is open is that yeah. <laughs> So Felix has uh, had to take his ball across to the penalty spot, and as uh, now with the new rules, they they have the uh, the one yard arc to uh, to play out of, which I've seen uh, actually a few of them been able to use that to um, 
get a better angle. Get a better than angle. Or open up, had. open up a shot on a ball. You know, so so it's actually been a good change. I, I like that change to the rules. I like trying to get the wire. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. where they're going to be, but yeah, uh, no, I mean it, yeah, it just makes it easy, and you know, sometimes you get some pretty cruddy ground, and a, there's a lot of a lot of courts around around the nation where people are taking relief from that position anyway. Yeah, so. That's right. If they're going to take relief, yeah. you might as well give it to them from the start. Yeah, but uh, Chris makes a good point though. You sometimes do play for the um, for the wire, knowing that their their opponent's going to be pushed over there to the to the spot. And uh, yeah, he comes in a little bit shallow. I think they'll still be trying to deal with uh, Edwards' yellow ball though. Yep. I don't think they'll give him with that shot on yellow. No, no, I think they've got a. No. That's got to be a push, so. So when coming in there, it's just basically saying, well, Edward's going to hit Felix on the way back. Yeah. So it yeah. doesn't matter where Sonia hits him. Um, enact the plan, yellow hits blue, red scores a hook. Yeah, so oh, and she's oh. missed that. Well, this will be interesting to see. Whether he does take Felix or take on the hoop. He's taken the hoop. Yeah, no, there was um, no discussion with the uh, <laughs> 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 the, the young Wolverine puppy. He's, he's ready to fire. He's, uh, yeah. But Blue can't make the hoop, so yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's yeah, not a threat. That's a Terry Hopkins hoop. Yeah. Good luck. But not the execution. Uh, uh, well, I wouldn't say that, but. Um, yeah, I, I think the fact that Felix couldn't run the hoop, no, you've got there to was no the problem. Hoop, yeah. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. and with Sonia being right down on the baseline, yeah. and they run it. Uh, yeah. no, the thing is, too, if you're a shooter, you want to shoot, you know. He's, and, uh, he's not happy with that shot. He's scattered. Yeah, he's yeah. left himself too far from no, the hoop. It's going to allow Wendy to come in a bit too easily. Yep. So he's going to have a ten and a half yarder at uh, wherever Wendy comes yeah. to. And, uh, but there is always two sides to the coin. I mean, if Edward had pushed uh, Felix to the north boundary, yep. he might have been wired. Yeah. Uh, Wendy was in a better yeah. position to go up and down and hold control. Yeah. There, there, there's lots of things that Ed, Edward would have yeah. advanced towards the next hoop. Um, but sometimes you just got to play the shot that you know you can do and yeah. then execute it. So yeah. Well, Wendy's the first one to come up short from over there. Yeah, that's, so uh, that's unusual. She's tried to allow for the, the slick gliding. pace and. Uh, Come up short. Yeah, inviting New Zealand back into the hoop. And yeah, bit of, uh, that's given up the uh, initiative, really, yeah. or the advantage, I should say. And that's gone too wide, which is uh, yeah, she's lucky covering, for us. Covering the front, but... Uh, but when you can clear that, so Felix will probably have a go at red here. Or he no, might just I pick off he's, yellow. He's going to pick, pick off yellow. Because if he misses yellow right, he'll run the hoop. Yeah. Oh, no, he's, he's just coming in. He's gone in. He's... Uh, Backing his partner. Oh, that's not a bad shot. I think yellow can still got yeah. a shot on the hoop. Yellow's just come. Oh, you can see it on the angle there. Yellow's oh, just come so off the blue. So Felix but, has um, just told Wendy to clear the blue. So well, probably a partner, Ed. Edward. Yeah. Too, I think, <laughs> I think partner. That's gone. It started again, Chris, at the, the day. So no, I apologise to anyone listening, but I have no, a bit of problem uh, with uh, getting names yeah. right. A little yeah. bit absent-minded. No, that's that's perfectly fine. It's starting to look a little misty. Yeah, I think, I think the rain. Yeah, rain. the rain is here. It comes. So um, yeah, it's probably the first time I felt happy being the reserve team. <laughs> yeah, up here, yeah, up here in the dry. Yeah, yeah. well, being the reserve has its uh, well, advantages. We get a free lunch each day, Chris. That's right. So <laughs> hot, toasty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of rain forecast for this morning. Uh, it's only going to be light, so not going to affect the players too much, and it'll blow over. And we're looking at a top of about 16 degrees at four o'clock this afternoon. Yep. So there's a long way between now and then. But yep. um, I've got extra layers on today. <laughs> yeah. uh, the other thing, just on being a reserve for anyone who's um, who's aspiring to to move into these teams, the the other thing is that as a reserve, we we do participate in all of the practices as well, which means that we get to play uh, quite a few weekends uh, of, of you know ten hours a day practice with the very best in the country, which uh, 
which is just something that doesn't happen very often. So it's nice. just a wonderful opportunity. So if you aspire to, to playing in state or, or country national level teams, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity and I'd recommend it for anybody who's who's got any aspirations at all. Well, you only get better by playing better people. So yep. And, uh, and yes. you get quality coaching, well, uh, you know, and, and an advanced level elite coaching. And it's always fun to it's try and stitch fun. up the big yeah. boys as well, <laughs> yeah. you know. So. Yeah. It is fun. We love the game, so mm. just to play it and play it with the best is, uh, is something you pay money for. Yeah. So, so Ed Wilson here um, has been involved in teams and squads for quite a few years now yeah. so we uh, we were here for training four years ago so three years yeah, ago yeah. Um, for the previous That's right. event the previous uh, for the tier or well, tier two world yes. over in England and uh, we had Ned come along to a few of the sessions there so That's he right. was a reserve sort of at that time and he um, was only 17 I think when he was 17 at the time and um, yeah so we got him involved back then he's coming to those those sessions, you know, getting around the, the senior yeah. guys, getting comfortable and, and now he here here he is as uh, you know, one of the top three players in Australia at the moment. So um, Yeah, it's important to um, to get the people to develop, use yeah. you know, get it to develop and, and have him get used to, to just mixing with the mm. you know, those of us who have been around for a while. That's right. So so Ned's still quite young but he's known Wendy and Anne, the manager, and us players for you know, four or five years, so it's quite, you know, it's been a bit embraced. Ooh. And you can see he's uh, fostered a few friendships there with the, the young Kiwi guys, which is yeah. which is natural, you know. Why would you want to hang out with the... Yeah, us old blokes. <laughs> us old blokes all the time. But, <laughs> but, um, but no, there is a really good camaraderie uh, between the two nations, and it's been played in a great spirit and you, you often see the young guys all, you know, it doesn't matter what nation you're from, they're just, the young having fun, you know, trying to outdo each other. You know. So Wendy and uh, Edward have decided that Wendy won't try and run this hoop because there's a bit of danger in it because, because of the angle, she'll uh, clear the black. Because yeah. uh, I that distance for, uh, for black is, you know, for most people that's just a natural little jump, mm. so it's one that they'd make 90% of the time, so uh, even if Wendy didn't run the hoop, it would probably jaw, and then uh, Black would have had a very simple jump over the top. So they've chosen to move her to the ten and a half yard boundary, or ten yeah. and a half yards away, I should say, from the hoop. And now she's either got a about nine from yard. She'll be nine yards yellow. from yard. Yeah. Yep. So uh, again, there. Sorry, go on, Chris. Oh no, I was just saying. It, this, the, the, I don't think she'll have any any eyes for the hoop at all. This, yeah. this will definitely be a yellow Absolutely. ball. Absolutely. She's not shown that she takes any hoops over about three yards, four yards. I don't know what that is in metres, if all <laughs> <laughs> croquet suits it's me uh, because it's all in yards. Well, the only yards I know are the croquet. <laughs> yes, <laughs> really? <laughs> seven, 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 seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. No, it's, um, I've no, never really been able to convert to... Uh, so, yeah, it's just short of a metre, so... Yeah, it so it's 36, 30 knots. <laughs> yeah, you, you lost me on that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's now an interesting hoop. Uh, Edward came up short with his yellow and uh, it just opened it up a little bit. So what Felix has done is he's taken a reasonably aggressive stance that uh, I'm saying to Wendy and Edward, I'm going to shoot it from out here. and. Um, you can do what you like, either clear me or come in. Yeah, I think they will have to take on the blue rather yeah. than blocking the hoop. Yeah. Um, but Felix will be more than comfortable. Hitting the red from the boundary. Yeah, exactly. So, so they'll hide black behind red, so yellow can't clear black. I'm but sure. I don't think they'd uh, hit the black anyway. I no, think they've, they've got to take the blue out of the play. Deny Felix's shot on the yeah. So the challenge for Edward's going to be he's going to have to move the blue to the boundary at an angle. He's got to get some angle on it because if it goes straight, Felix will probably take on, he might take on the hoop because Black's now short. So He'll definitely take on the hoop. Yeah, and it looks like, hmm, 
I don't think I'd be leaving Felix with a shot. Yeah, and now Felix will take the yeah, shot on. He's, sure. he's got no. I would have made him play a ten and a half yard shot. I think he's not got any eyes for anything other than the hoop here. He was running these quite well yesterday. Yeah. So as I said he earlier, he put that ball so there, saying to Edward in front, and um, Wendy that I'm going to run it from there. So you'll either move me or I'll run it, and he did exactly what the inference was. So Wendy's uh, played that one. Oh, it's just leaving on the leg. So it didn't go into the jaws. It's just uh, just sitting on the left leg. So that's now uh, a little bit of a problem because it means she's going to have two shots to get it through the hoop. And if they position their ball well, she won't be able to clear them. So one of the worst things that can happen when you're first to, a, to the next hoop is either you go past it, but even worse really is that you stick on the leg because at least if you go past it you can clear them but uh, if they've got their, this ball right when you won't be able to clear at all and at this level uh, she just tries to drop it into the into the jaws they'll just jump straight over the top of her they'll position one ball in the jumping position uh, of course you've got to execute I mean the theory is that <laughs> They're all nice and straightforward, but you've got to execute, so that's not executed well. She's uh, missed that by quite a ways. She's gone past the hoop, and it gives Wendy a chance to basically hit her ball out into a position wide from black. So yellow's gone past as well, so it's getting pretty slick down there. Over the courts, even though there's a little bit of mist around, maybe the courts are drying out a bit and getting faster. So we're seeing a number of shots go too long. But uh, Chris said earlier, it's very slick down through the middle. Very quick court through the middle. So Felix is the only one in a hoop running position at the moment. Uh, so as I said, if Wendy drops that into the hoop, well, black will either clear or blue will jump over. But she won't have a lot of option. Yes, I should probably just play it off the hoop into a position where black can't hit her. So not in the jaws because black can hit through it. So you'll come out off the off the leg. There may be an inch or two off the leg, maybe three inches, but <coughs> where it's wide from black. So what they're doing now is just asking Felix, does he need the umpire to watch this shot? But he'll just watch it him himself. As long as they're happy with that. So it's always a good thing um, with some of those shots around the hoop where it is uh, hampered, the ball's hampered, or there's an opportunity that you might do something wrong. Always ask the opponent if they want an umpire to watch the shot. And if you do fault, you should call it yourself anyway. So. Now trying to get into the back swing of, of each. she tried to hit that back into the, the back swing so that Edward couldn't clear the blue, but she came up a little bit short. So he was quite an easy shot for him to clear blue. So I expect it, Felix here will probably shoot at the red, hoping to get an in off. He's got a pretty natural, um, what we call a gutter, off the, the red through the hoop. So if he can just glance at the red. His blue ball will probably sail through that hoop. Before the winds come up, it's, uh, it's uh, just uh, going to have an impact on the game now because it's come up quite a bit. You can see the players have all got their waterproofs on now and hoods are coming up. Definitely had an impact on the commentary team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yes. Then, um, <laughs> and you see the, the restart of uh, Court 3, the second game up there. I'm not sure if you mentioned it, Terry. The, uh, no, I didn't. The Kiwi pair winning 7-6, so that's three first games in the clubhouse for New Zealand at the moment. So, uh, so once again, another day of uh, slow starts for Australia. It's exactly. been, been the thing all the way along. Lots of comebacks, which has been fantastic, yeah, yes. but uh, a lot of slow starts. So yeah, not so sure what's um, Hopefully we'll get there. some comebacks today. I know Felix has chosen to come in. I thought he might try and go in off that red, but uh, he's chosen to come in. So I think 
Wendy will probably jaws this now. She'll try and jaw it, and then uh, Edward will try and clear the black. <coughs> oh, sorry, yeah. Um, Edward, Edward, uh, Edward, Edward can't clear black. I mean, the black, I think, is at an angle. He can't get it out. He'll clear the yeah. blue. So, yeah, see, blacks Could ideally blacks wants to hit yellow. Yeah, but it's wide, I think. To leave blue with the hoop uh, jump shot, but it is wide, so now they're... Does she take the jump over blue to try and... I think she's got to try and do something to get rid of blue, doesn't she? No, she can't really get rid of red. It's, um, she has to knock it through. But that's the worst thing. Yep, they're checking out lots of angles, and you can see there on the camera angle, she really has to jump over the blue to hit the yellow. Or otherwise, she's going for a very... Yeah, she's setting for the jump there. Yeah, she's, so she's, she's got her feet forward, so she's trying to jump. Nice and close. So you see she hit her on the down angle, which will pop it over the top, just like a jump ball in, in, uh, in snooker and pool. Hoping to land on the yellow and knock it away. She's got it on the, She's lined up nice and straight, so mm. it's just whether she can pop it up over the top. So she'll try and land on it, bocce style. Good and shot. She's, uh, connected enough of it, but it's made it a lot harder. I mean, Edward should still hit, but so um, he's got a made it harder. He's got a good chance here because. If he does miss the blue, he's got a chance of knocking red yeah. through and scoring the hoop. If he uh, does hit the blue, it's going to be a tough shot for Felix to It's a nice get replay. Out. You can see she's just popped that ball up over the top of blue and straight and into yellow. That's a beautiful shot. A nice a angle. Twist. A very nice angle. Oh, and Edwards hit it. Okay, I hit the leg and popped the red out. So he was trying to... Trying to Push the red through. Yeah, push the red through and flick off to the next hoop. So this has uh, left New Zealand with a great chance to take a, a lead early on in the game. Doesn't have to do anything too tricky, just run yeah, it through, which he does. Like that. Yeah. That's a bit of bad luck, but so um, sometimes uh, better off to take the, the full ball shot. So now 4 2 New Zealand over yeah. Australia on this one. So. Wendy and Ed really need to start 